All right, so this will be eighth video in the series, which is quite a few. And I just wanted to conclude by going through and cleaning this up so that it's at least somewhat usable. And because it'll be somewhat usable when I finish this, it'll give you a chance to learn things about it. So let's start with this. Right click on it to select it, single click on it to get rid of the drop down screen and double click to get into edit mode. Let's just pick a font that's easy to read. And we're gonna say M-P-O-R-T import macro. Um, click out of that, right click it again. I'm gonna just, I gotta make it look at least a little bit reasonable. We'll make it chart two, that would be nice. Uh, let's put a line around it. Um, about something dark gray. Let's make it two tenths. Oh, that's big. Just a slight line. Okay. There we go. Now at least it has some embossing of a, being a button. And your finger changes when you roll over it. We'll do that. Um, let's uh, format that cell up to size 12. Okay, maybe I'll put this repeat, put this repeat, um, and then we'll bold it, and we'll bold that one, and we'll bold that one. That starts to make things a little easier to look at. I would like to take and hide these two things so that it starts looking like this. I think I'll ship it that way when I do my final save. So this at least gets you set up so that when you open this up, it's gonna have the completed process in it, but it'll give you something that you can follow along with. I'm gonna save this thing right now, and then it'll be ready to send your way. There you have it. That's a lot to digest. We still have some things left to do. We have to have this have an auto execute macro at the beginning to decide whether to run this or not. Um, and then in, a, in an odd way, this kind of already does a lot of that auto startups th things, but it's nice to have your own routine at the beginning that you can say, well, down the road as I add features to the process, maybe I want to do more than just import this wind data. Maybe I have a second import macro that I want to run. And there's other things that we can do to make and facilitate that. So we're by no means are we at the end of the process, but at least if we, uh, if we uh, start with that, you'll have something to work on for studying. And the next round of macro coding will be macro 200 series. Um, anyhow, if you made it this far, fucking good on you. That's an awful lot of words to listen to, and uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching.